So this is a typical tension test that we do to determine the strength of material, the wood element or the steel element. In this test, we have usually two fixtures and we put the element in tension. Okay, we apply a load until failure to determine how much is the maximum normal stress that this element can carry. It says that if the normal stress at this section is 2 KSI, how much would be the total axial force that applied in this test? Also, I want to determine what is the stress developed at the side element at section AA. So this, questions, this question has two parts. Let me first focus on the first part. I want to determine how much is the total force acting on this. Before answering this, I need to see what is the free body diagram that I have in the system. This is the first step and perhaps the most important step that you need to do before solving any problem related to stress analysis. So we always start with free body diagram. To make this element free, I will consider, I will first cut it from this part. I will take it out. You can see the element up there. This element, when I cut that from the middle section, I need to put one unknown force there. I will call this unknown force as F. I don't know how much is that, okay? And at the same time, I know that there are two forces acting on the side of this T-shaped element. And how much are these forces? They are equal to pi over 2y because the total force that acts on that fixture is P. So I divide that by 2 because half of that would be on each side. So how much would be the F in that case? Some of the forces in y direction should be 0. Some of the forces in the y direction gives me this equation and that gives me F is equal to P. Any questions for this part? Clear? This, this step is very important. How to make our element free. Okay, now let me answer the first part, the first question. I drew this element in a three-dimensional shape. Let me first see how much is the total P if the stress developed in that section is uh, 2 KSI. I know that I have one equation and that gives me stress as a function of force and area. So stress is force divided by area. I have already determined how much is F and I need to determine what is area. Okay, if I determine that, I can plug the value into that equation and determine how much is the total force. So I need to determine what is area. Can you tell me what area should I consider in this analysis? What is the area at which this force F is acting on? Is it on the bottom of the section or on the side or on the top? Which one? Is it this uh, highlighted section? Good. And the shape of that is a rectangle, which is one inch by one inch. So the area for this case is one squared inch. Now I can plug this value into a stress equation and find how much is P. So a stress is a force divided by area. F is equal to P. Area is equal to one. And I know that the stress in this case is two KSI. So I plug these parameters into this equation and I can solve it for P. So P would be equal to one time 2 KSI, I converted that into PSI. So it is 2000 PSI, and that gives me uh, 2000 pounds. Any questions for this part? Clear? Okay, now I would like to answer the second part. What would be the stress developed on section A on the side of this T section? Um, I think that I can follow the same procedure. I have just one equation. Stress is equal to force divided by area. I can determine how much is force, and I need to determine what is area. Um, first, let me talk about area. What is the area that we should consider in determining the stress at the AA section? Should I consider this one by one section? Nope. What section should I consider? It's the section on the side. I can determine what is the area for that. The height of that is two inch, the width is one inch. So area of that is simply two squared inch. How much is force acting on that one? Is it P 
or p over 2? Which one? It's p over 2. You know, p over 2 is acting on the right side, another p over 2 is acting on the left side, and the total force is p. So the force in this case is p over 2, and that is equal to 1,000 pound, and the stress is force divided by area, that gives me 1,000 pound divided by 2 squared inch, and that would be equal to 500 psi. Okay, I assume that everybody knows that this, the stress developed in that section would be shear stress.